Bombinata is pirouetting onto the battlefield and into our hearts, but as an A-rank ice attacker, she has some steep competition with Lucia Plume. However, there's still a good chance you'll add her to your roster. Okay, first, I just want to say that I really like these little braid loops that she has on the side of her head. They immediately reminded me of Kaine from Nier, and believe it or not, the two do share a connection. Uh, but before we get to that, let's set some context. The Ice Team has been through a lot in PGR. Back in the day, Lucia Plume was the only Ice Element character for eight whole months between her debut and the arrival of Wanshu Hypnos. And right now, as Bombinata is about to debut, the Chinese server just announced a brand new Ice Attacker who will be taking Lucia's place. Even when evolved to Triple S Plus, Bombinata can't compete with the strengths of either construct, whether it's Lucia or Chu, but she does have one important trait. She's free. In fact, every A rank construct from here forward can be obtained for free. Keep this in mind since we'll come back to it later. One of the best things about Bombinata is how she fights. Tugged this way and that by threads, she moves like a deadly marionette, cutting into enemies with the blades that pop out of her arms. However, Bombinata has an interesting quirk. She will start with having access to all three orb colors by default but you can prevent certain colored orbs from appearing on her bar by making her forget them. The more orb colors she forgets, the stronger her signature move. To make her forget orbs, first fill her attack gauge by doing three pings. Once her gauge is filled, hold basic attack to make Bombinata hang in the air and quickly press a three ping of the orb color you want her to forget. She'll do the attack, and then that color orb will disappear as indicated by the colored hearts disappearing on her gauge. Continue this loop until Bombinata has forgotten all three orb colors, and then unleash her signature move for maximum damage. Your existence is against the mistress's wishes. Then, her orb colors will all return and you can start the rotation over. But the best part of playing Bombinata is she's fun! She's agile, deadly, and oh so adorable. Cute? The mistress chose this outfit for Bambinata. And speaking of adorable, Bombinata was designed by guest artist DK, most well known for designing the characters of Nier. And yes, that does include Kaine. See, I told you there was a connection between the two. In fact, if you check out their Twitter, DK has drawn not only Bombinata, but a bunch of other PGR characters as well. Check out the link in the description. And if her generic coding is not your style, she has this alternate coding inspired by ballet and quill pens. Her limbs are clear, so you can actually see the blades collapse inside her arms, and her shoes look like the tip of an ink pen. This alternate coating can be bought with RC on her debut, or if you are the patient type, you can get it for free after the patch ends when it moves to the regular coating shop, provided you have enough blueprints from dorm missions. There are two ways to get Bombinata. The first is through the base member target banner, where you can guarantee her in 10 pulls or less. That's up to 2500 BC, or blue construct R&D tickets, depending on what you have. However, as I mentioned before, you can also get her totally free in the patch event shop. Just grind the patch farming stages until you can earn her 30 shards, and then you can unlock her without spending a single black card or ticket. On top of that, A-ranks like Bombinata can also be evolved for free if you are patient. After you unlock her, you can earn two of her inverse shards a day through the resources page, which can be used to get her to higher ranks. Or, if you happen to have a lot of leftover shards from already maxing out A ranks to triple S plus rank, you can actually recycle those leftover shards and turn them into Bombinata's shards. But even though you can get her for free, there is a reason you might want to pull her instead. First of all, it pays to build up the pity in the base member target banner, since your 60th pull is guaranteed to be an S rank construct. And on top of that, PGR will be introducing a mechanic that allows you to choose this S rank in the patch Cradle Parade around July 2024. That means it is in your favor to try and get this number as close to 60 by the time Cradle Parade rolls around. And you may as well get a great A rank out of it in the process, while Bombinata is 100% guaranteed. Another reason you may want to pull for Bombinata is if you want to evolve her. While her inverse shards can be earned for free, it is very, very slow. 
Two shards a day from the resources stage is going to take a long time. You can pull duplicate copies of Bombonata, but A-ranks like her will only give you 18 shards. That means it's technically a better deal to unlock her by pulling your first copy from the banner and then purchase her 30 shards in the event shop afterwards to quickly get her to S rank. Either way, between the free shards in the event shop and the free blue tickets you can use to get her, Bombinata is very free to play friendly during her patch. So, should you pull Bombinata? Well, if you are watching this during her patch, left unsaid, you should definitely get her free 30 Inver shards and either unlock her with those or pull her when her rate is still 100% guaranteed. While she may not be meta, she is fun and in a game like PGR, the more constructs you get, the easier it is to clear multi-team content. Plus, if Teasel ever becomes playable, we could have the whole Egret team. However, if you are watching this in the future, her free shards will no longer be available to you. And in that case, we really don't recommend pulling from Bombinata unless you have plenty of blue construct R&D tickets to spare. Pulling her will get you closer to, but not over, the 60 pull pity on the base member target banner, and consider pulling her if you don't have or plan to have Lucia Plume. But if you missed her debut and you already have Plume, or are watching this very close to the arrival of Chu's new frame around October 2024, we don't recommend pulling for Bombinata since she just can't compete with the incredible strength of S rank constructs. This is especially true if you are short on blue tickets. Instead of dipping into your BC for Bombinata, save that BC for one of the best S ranks, like the ones that we cover in detail in this video. So go check that out next. Wow, um, I don't know whether to be impressed or uh, concerned that the light leaves her eyes when she does this attack. 